All right, so I thought I'd better uh, start taking some uh, some video footage of this before I kind of put everything together. So this is my uh, pneumatic zombie groundbreaker. Uh, several different names for this. Um, so if you're watching this because you're searching on how to do this, I'm sure you've seen some of the other videos as well. One in particular uh, that I've used a lot for reference, I uh, use two by fours and uh, and some dual uh, dual action cylinders. I forgot what you uh, call those. Basically, you've got to uh, um, fire for each one. Um, so basically, I had this thing set up initially with two by fours, and uh, it just took too much uh, psi. It was too heavy just with the frame, and um, so I rebuilt it using the one by twos. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to be sturdy enough. We shall see after this year, uh, but I can get away with using a lot less PSI, uh, and I, I, I prefer that better right now. So now, kind of going on to the cylinder part, um, a lot of the dual action cylinders you have to have uh, one for uh, firing the cylinder, one for retracting it. Um, I got these kind that are have a spring retraction, so I only need one hose going to the cylinder. And uh, I think that simplifies the design quite a bit. And um, let's go back here. So here I've got um, my setup. Got a regulator, and it's teed off going into a couple solenoids. And these are 12 volt uh, uh, solenoids. And I only have to run this thing at about 40 psi. Uh, with when I was doing with the two by fours and stuff, I had to crank that up quite a bit higher. But um, Anyway, so far uh, doing some of the test runs, it looks it looks uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's working pretty well. I uh, still got a lot of work to do. Um, so anyway, so let's fire this thing off. See if uh, we can see it a little bit in action. <laughs> 